Hey guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I have a thrift warehouse haul for you. Crazy, huh? First I went to the thrift store and I will show you those items. I went to my Volunteers of America. It's right by my house Ugh, and I got a haircut. I went to Volunteers of America. It's right by my house and this is my favorite store. I love it and let me show you what I scored today. Um, first off, I grab. oh, my arm is so sore. I took a spinning class yesterday and my arm hurts from holding it out. I didn't do anything but rest it on my steering handlebars on the spinning bike, but anyway. Um, I got this basket. Um, if you're not familiar with what I'm doing with my room, I'm doing a boho kind of a theme. And I thought this would be perfect on my end table. I like to have like pens, a notebook, um, nail file clippers. I have keep the cat clippers in here because usually if they're sleeping with me, I can trim their nails real quick. Moisturizer, stuff like that on my nightstand. And I thought this is perfect for that. And this was a dollar, I think it was a dollar 91. I never could find the dang price on here, but she found it the other day. Or she found it when I went to pay. They write them in the most bizarre places. Ah, here it is. $1.91 for that, which I thought was great. It's in good shape, and it doesn't smell funny. So I grabbed that. Um, part of my boho is I'm going to do a macrame for my wall, and my bedspread is like a dark plum purple color. So I'm going to show you these right now, and then I'll show you the other thing I got to go with it. But these were $1.91. Um, it's a pretty decent deal. I think they're $3.99 at Joann's and I was going to go and buy the exact colors. So what the hey? So I got these two colors and then I have a third color I'll show you here in a moment. But these were $1.91 a piece and they're full skeins of yarn. And this is bulky yarn. So yarn is not ideal to do macrame but the way I'm going to do it I think it'll work out fine. So I grabbed that. I found this copper. Look at that. Scoop. I think I might put it in the cat food. I don't know. Or on my counter, like on the shelf or something. It was 50 cents. I brought it home and I cleaned it up with a little bit of lemon and salt. Um, it's not perfect, but I kind of want the aged look. And I thought this was in its brass handle and then the copper scoop for 50 cents. I was so excited to find that. And then part of my boho wall, and I will show you all when I think I'm done. I have the circle mirror and then all the circle wicker and I walked in and I have been on the hunt for something like this and I was like no like really that easy 90 cents it's upside down but again 90 cents for this basket and then on the inside are six of these little I guess they're coasters so I need little things to go in between all the big stuff and this is going to be one of the items look at that it's perfect I don't have to do anything to it I mean, if I want to, I could paint this wicker, but, and there's six of these, and they're going to be perfect, and then I can keep the little basket to store, I'm thinking like chargers and cables, and on my other nightstand to go with my room, so I grab that for 90 cents, and then for another 90 cents, guys, you are going to die when you see this, these are Calphalon Bakeware four-piece mini pie pans. These are perfect portion for me to make little crustless quiches. 90 cents, brand new. Macy's. You know this is like 20 or $25. Um, and they are nice, heavy metal. And they'll be perfect when I make, um, I can make four at a time little crustless quiche for breakfast. I may do that tomorrow to take to work. I think it's a better portion size. Does it tell me? Um, uh, it doesn't say how much they hold. Hey, they're made in Toledo, Ohio. But there's four pieces in here, so I would just have to bake them in batches, which is fine. And yeah, I was so excited to find this stuff. I was like in and out super fast, too, because I was on my way to get my hair cut, and I'm like, I'm just going to run in on my way. But the yarn was like exciting. Okay, then the next place I went, so here I am in Columbus. And if you're um, a knitter or a sewer, crafter of yarn, you and if you've heard of Knit Picks, it's a mail order yarn store. So you go online and it's wool, most of it, they have wool, acrylic, cottons, blends, all kinds of yarn, and you order it online. Well, their warehouse is here in Columbus. 
and I've heard that they have these warehouse sales, but it's not all the time or every year. I mean, I think the last one was several years ago. And they, this warehouse also ships for two other companies. I don't know what the two other companies are, um, but one of them does fabric. And I don't know what the other one does. I think paint, like artist supplies, like paint and ceramic and stuff. So a friend of mine posted on Facebook that she was there and I'm like, what? That's today? So I jump in my car at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I drive across the other side of town, so about a 20-minute drive, and I, I'm i very happy with what I got, so I'm going to show you. So, like I said, my bedspread is a um, plum color, and this, it's showing up brown, but it's purple. It's a heathered purple bulky yarn to do the macrame with. These will be the three colors that I'm going to use, and they'll be heavy on the gray and the cream because I have more of that yarn. And I only have 100 grams. So this is 100 yards. And these are, uh, oh, these are the same yardage. They're just done differently. So I'll have the same about it each. These are 98 yards. So between them, I should be able to make a decent, and if not, I can go to Joanne and get some more of that um, big time twist yarn. Uh, but this is, I paid $3 for it. And this is actually, 50 wash, 50% superwash merino wool, and 50% nylon. So this is a good thing to use for that because it won't, it won't like get yucky on the wall. And it was $3. So I got that. And then they had a package of three skeins of this yarn. This is sock weight yarn. So this is what I would use to knit socks. They had a three pack. These are were in the plastic. So like this is how they would get shipped to them and then they would bust into them and sell you one. They had all three of these skeins for $3. So a dollar a skein. This is Sock Ease by Lion Brand Yarns, finished with aloe vera. So if you make it, it's super soft and this is a wool nylon blend, which is what you use. And this is like a rusty orange. Um, I could make socks with these, I make socks, but I could also make a nice, um, nice big burnt orange shawl out of these because each one of these is usually they're like 400 yards yeah 438 yards that's 1200 yards plus that's a lot of yarn so I three dollars for three skeins or I could gift one to somebody or two even I wouldn't make more than one pair of burnt orange socks <laughs> and then I picked up um, this is their nitpick Wool of the Andes Sport Weight, which is a little heavier than the the uh, sock weight yarn. And this is 100% wool. And I thought, yes, these are summery type colors, but how fun would that be for a nice spring something? A spring shawl, uh, maybe some fun mittens for winter. So I grabbed, these were a dollar a skein as well. Online, I think they're like $3.99 or $4.99 a skein. And each one is um, 137 yards. So for a dollar a piece, thank you. Yes, I will. I will take some yarn. I have to take you on a tour of my yarn. Do I need yarn in my life? No. <laughs> Do I like yarn? Yes. Um, and then they had this, which I thought was one, but it's actually three. And they're just a little rainbow iron on heart appliques. And they were a dollar for three. So they were 33 cents a piece. Um, Pride month is coming up. My work is a big sponsor of our local Pride. And so maybe I'll iron this on something to wear. But there's three of them in there. So that was exciting. And then the last knitting thing I bought, and I got two of these. These are called a project bag. And this is muslin. And if you see the coffee cup on it, and it says, start your day with coffee and your day with yarn. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? And one of these is a gift for Christmas for my somebody that is a knitter. Isn't that awesome? And then what you do is you put your projects in here, yarn, needles, directions. Usually it's a, this would be for a smaller project and then you can pull it off. You pull it taut like that and nothing comes out. Project bag, I sew project bags all the time, but I love this one and they were $3 as well. And I think they were like $9.99 on the website. They obviously aren't selling these anymore. This is discontinued stock that they, you know, won't that they won't sell again. This specific, they'll sell these eco bags, but not this specific. 
thing. So I grabbed two of those. They were $3 a piece. And then the last thing I got was fabric to make the apron. If you watched my dollar, my last Dollar Tree haul, I got that, um, sorry, I hurt today. The last Dollar Tree haul, I bought that book that has aprons in it and the pattern. And I was trying to decide what apron I wanted to make. And this fabric, and what is the name? There's a pattern on here or a company name. Connecting Three? That might be, oh, Connecting Threads. And this is brand new, 2019 fabric. And this is 100% Pima cotton, 100% uh, USA cotton. It's nice and heavy. So I thought that'll be perfect for the apron itself. And it's a yard, and the yards were $2.50. So if you're a sewer, you know that's a good deal for a yard, a full yard. Of fabric so I thought this will be the under you know the ma the main body of the first apron because I have three different patterns here and then for accents for the two pockets and things I got some mustard and some bright yellow so together and I just think this is gonna be year-round colors it doesn't have to be Christmas or spring or anything like that but I just thought that would be so fun the three these three patterns together um, there's just a little tiny pattern to that, more like a ton tonal, and then the same with the yellow. So yeah, for three yards of fabric, I paid $7.50, and this is heavy, heavy cotton fabric. So what I'll do is wash it, dry it, so it's pre-shrunk, and then I will cut it out and sew the apron. And by then, hopefully, um, my arms, my arm will be in a better position. <laughs> pun intended, for me to be able to sew and cut and all that. I just don't think I can do it right just yet, but soon. Yeah, you know, let's see. Yeah, that's the three fabrics together. I'm really excited because I think this is going to be a fun apron to make. And I will cut that pattern out. And for $7.50, I was able to get a ton of yarn. Sorry, there's already a cat fur on it. They are shedding still. A ton of fabric that I can make more than one apron you know really i could do one of each color and have the other three be the accents for the pockets and the straps and things so yeah and i spent about 25 dollars at the warehouse sale and i spent eight dollars at the thrift store and my room is coming along nicely i have um these three things and then i have a diy i'm trying to figure out how to make it's a macrame feather and I want to make some small ones as well to go on my wall. And then that wall will be complete once I fill in some of the gaps. And when I do the macrame, I'll bring you along with me. All right, everybody. Well, I've got to go. It's late and I'm tired. And I'm just going to chill for the rest of the night. You have a good one and I will talk to you later.